real quick about Destiny 2 because we have our news stories. Finally, I mean, we talked about games for like a good while, but hell, that's what I like talking about, man. Uh, but um, I did want to talk about the uh, Sparrows in uh, Destiny 2. I mean, have you read about that article? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, basically, I guess it's a more difficult task to get your Sparrow, which is... Like I said, I haven't played that far into it, and I haven't gotten to, like, those open, massive maps. But, you know what, though? Like I said, like, the only three hours that I played with it, like, Destiny 2 is, like, kind of linear at this point. Like, it's kind of really forcing you yeah honestly it's kind of like forcing you in the direction that you need to go hmm. um it doesn't like give you like this open map to go here there and etc cetera, etc cetera. so that might be like kind of a bonus perk to have something like that like i said i haven't gotten that far mm -hmm. um but it, i could see like that just being like a bonus perk if that's the way to continue if that's the way the game continues i got you okay yeah because like so basically for anybody that doesn't know uh, in the original Destiny, you get your Sparrow. That's like your little ghost-like uh, personal ship that you can go around in the terrain that you're able to summon. That was actually one of the coolest things I thought about the original Destiny was how you always had that vehicle. Like, even, you know, you didn't have to worry about, like, in Halo where you had to go f look for a Warthog and then worry about it getting blown up by the Covenant and <laughs> to find another one. It was Warthog. dropped off to you. It was dropped off to you. Well, wait, you talking about the Warthog or... Oh, yeah, something like that. Well, yeah, yeah, sometimes it happened, but, you know, like, if they blow it up, you have to go find another one. They don't just drop off another one, you know? It's like, oh, Master Chief, you, you really suck at this game. Here's another Warthog, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, but, uh, but you know you know what I'm talking about. Like, but in this, like, you always had access to your vehicle, and you were able to even use it in, like, some of the multiplayer maps, like the moon, where you can kind of, like, get to objectives really quickly, you know, by hopping into your... Uh, you know your sparrow real quick and that way you can get there a lot faster instead of having to just run across the map right but in this game obviously you don't start with it well you didn't start with it in the first game but you got it like after like what the first mission or two yeah you know, it, well every planet every planet you went to you had to do a mission to get your sparrow on that planet oh did it really work like that yeah 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 it did. oh okay yeah i think i i think i knew you're talking about now Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you did have to complete the first mission, and then after that, you can sparrow and you, you had can... to open. You had to open the link to the sparrow, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got you. Okay, yeah, I remember that now. Okay, so in this game, you have to either get the sparrow from various Ingram drops, or I don't know. You think that's a spoiler? <laughs> Talk about the other way. What do you think? Well, no, well, I mean, I think that, that that makes sense. Okay, so you have to do the Ingram drop, or you just simply have to beat the campaign. Not a huge deal. Unless you want to hop in your raids and patrols and things like that right away, which case... Well, for one, I don't think you can do that right away, because you have to level up your character and everything like that before you even get to that point, I would imagine. But I think and, also at the same time, like maybe, like I said, I've only played two and a half hours and maybe close to three. Uh, maybe it, the game is really servicing the fans that really hated those parts. Like I said, I can't speak for it, but maybe they were like, you know what? These guys do not like driving around this thing and doing objectives. Maybe they, they really took that whole element out of it, man. Like really, you just drop into a mission and you're there. Like you don't even scour to get like spin metal or anything like that to like upgrade your weapons and mm -hmm. if they did that like okay all right cool i mean you know i don't hate it but i don't love it either i mean um yeah. and trust me i hated fucking you know spamming for like spin metal to upgrade my oh I, yeah you need five fucking spin metal to upgrade my shotgun like oh god dude that was actually oh. uh that was actually reason number three why i stopped playing the original <laughs> so <laughs> all, all the grinding for materials I just want to shoot robots in the fucking face, dude. I don't want to fucking scour the whole fucking Venus for fucking spin metal. Right, um, where you had to, like, just go around different locations in patrol mode to go into these various caves and whatnot or buildings to try to find the items you're looking for. Right, exactly. Yeah. And then, of course, they're not always there because they have, like, weird timers with the way they spawn and stuff like that. So, like, you know... Oh, yeah, that was the fucking worst. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean... Regardless, I guess if anybody's looking forward to those segments of the game, like if that was your cup of tea with uh, Destiny, you might want to rush through the single player campaign or uh, try to find a way to grind those Ingram drops first 
uh, before you worry about that. Subscribe to the DP and me on the iTunes. Do now. Get to the chopper. Get cookie down now.